49-year-old Tasha Williams is behind bars for fatally stabbing her ex-husband Michael Williams during an argument about watching a movie. On the evening of Tuesday the 5th of December, authorities responded to a residence at Robin Hood Park Apartments Complex, located at 3713 Robin Park Circle, Memphis, Tennessee, in reports of a domestic incident. Inside the apartment, officers found a man suffering from stab wounds, and he was transported to Regional One Health, where he died from his injuries. Authorities identified Tasha as the suspect, and she was arrested at the scene. Tasha told police that she and her ex-husband Michael were drinking when they got into a dispute. Michael wanted to go to another location to watch a movie, however Tasha refused, which led to Michael hitting her glasses off her face, causing a cut near her eye. Tasha told police she cleaned around her eye, and Michael attempted to assist. Tasha became upset and grabbed a knife from the kitchen. She then went into the living room and stabbed Michael in the chest. Tasha and Michael had reportedly been involved in previous domestic violence incidents. Tasha was booked into the Shelby County Jail on a charge of second-degree murder, and she's held on an $80,000 bond. The investigation into the matter continues. 60-year-old Daniel Nichols is behind bars for fatally shooting 26-year-old Esmeralda Vargas. At 5.41am on Monday the 4th of December, authorities responded to the Comfort Inn and Suites Hotel, located at 7007 Grover Street in Omaha, Nebraska, on reports of a shooting. When officers arrived at the scene, they found Esmeralda unresponsive and laying face down on the third floor hallway, near an elevator with a gunshot wound to her chest. She was transported to Burger Mercy Hospital, where she was pronounced dead. During the investigation, authorities identified Daniel as a suspect. At around 2pm, Daniel was spotted driving almost 200 miles away near Holt, Missouri, and he was taken into custody after a traffic stop. He's held at the Clinton County Detention Center, and will be extradited back to Nebraska where he faces charges of murder and use of a firearm to commit a felony. The motive of the shooting is unclear, as the investigation into the matter continues. A 31-year-old part-time school teacher has been arrested on multiple drug charges. At around 8.30am on Thursday the 7th of December, a canine service used by the Board of Education alerted staff to a car owned by Angela Elizabeth Anderson in the parking lot of Pine View Elementary School in Rockwood, Tennessee. A school resource officer searched the car and found weed and cocaine in a vehicle. Deputies arrested Angela and charged her with simple possession of marijuana, unlawful possession of drug paraphernalia, and manufacture, deliver, and sale of cocaine. She was booked into the Cumberland County Jail on a $7,000 bond. She's since been suspended without pay. The investigation into the matter continues. A 36-year-old woman is behind bars for fatally shooting a 45-year-old man. At 12.16pm on Tuesday the 5th of December, authorities responded to the 600 block of Williamson Road in Montgomery, Alabama for a death investigation. When first responders arrived at the scene, they found a man deceased with a gunshot wound. Police identified the victim as 45-year-old Keith Powell. The shooting was initially a death investigation, however police said evidence was discovered that changed it to a homicide case. Authorities quickly identified 36-year-old Rotoria McBride as a suspect, and she was taken into custody. She's charged with murder and is held at the Montgomery County Detention Center without bail. The motive in the shooting is unclear as the investigation into the matter continues. Authorities are investigating after finding a man fatally shot near a bridge. At around 8.15am on Thursday the 7th of December, authorities responded to a gravel parking lot near the old Elton Bridge in Denton, Texas after a man called 911 to report finding a deceased man. When deputies arrived at the scene, they found the lifeless body of a man with a gunshot wound beside a parked dark Mitsubishi SUV. The victim was identified as 42-year-old Alan Lee Wilson. His cause of death was a gunshot wound to the head, and his death was ruled a homicide. No arrests have been made to date, and the motive of the shooting is unclear, as the investigation into the matter continues. <laughs> 